Hello, what's going on? It's Nezo in the bad shop. Um, <laughs> I didn't think of anything to say off the hop. It's, what day is it today? Oh, goodness, the brain shut off. It's Tuesday, October 4th. And I got another unbox for you guys. Whoever's watching out there, thanks for watching. Um, just looking around the shop. You see this big white box here. I've made a couple um, little purchases the last few days. Things I've kind of wanted, some new things, and... Well, I've gotten bitten by the big rig bug, you can see some big rigs. I don't know if I come over here, on the flip side of my shelf, there's two of my rigs. I had three. Oh, that's a... T it's not even bright. You can't see. Hold on a second here. Anyways, no, yeah, i gotten bitten by the rig bug. That's better. And I had three, but I sold one of them to a good friend of mine, and he's going to take good care of it. So this one is a, a Merc f f uh, front cab, and it's a flat bed you can kind of see back there and then this is a uh, night hauler I got in a trade and uh, it's pretty sweet it's got some extra bits on it but anyways the unbox for this let me oh lord phone's not cooperating there we go okay um, yes so the reason this big white box is here is because when you drive a semi truck an RC semi truck these are to me a 114th scale it's only fun for like five minutes because you need a trailer you need something to hook up there and pull without it it's not as fun but it's it's still fun don't get me wrong it's still fun but we did a um we did a rig day uh where we brought a bunch of those out a bunch of us local guys here and uh to the oshawa track rocks and shocks that's where we went okay my brain is not it's not up firing on all, on all eight tonight. We brought a bunch out there, and I was the only guy who didn't have a trailer. <laughs> so, without further ado, this unbox is the Tamiya 114th scale fuel tank trailer. Look at it. And this is the chrome edition. Um, so, this will now give me something to pull when we go to rig day, or next rig day, or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun having a trailer and you get to try all your crazy drivings and jackknife. Well, not jackknifing, you don't want to do that stuff. But reversing with one of these is not easy. So kudos to the real guys who do it, you know, the real big, the real big rigs. Um, now, this particular tractor trailer unit, this is factory finished, as you can see there. So to me, it's built this. It's like an RTR in a sense. And with this comes a light unit. So all the lights are pre-done. And it comes with the cable hookup uh, to hook up to your rig, to the back of your rig. I can give you an idea what that looks like. This one has that piece in there. Uh, you probably can't see it again. I'm going to have to get a, um, whatchamacallit, a little flashlight with me. You need better lighting in the shop. There we go. So it's the connector bit right over here. I don't know if you can sort of, there's the shadow right there. The trailer hooks into that bit, that thing, and um, you get lights. Now, I'm going to put my phone down. Phone down. Yes. Oh, God. That's a terrible angle. Okay. So, back to the trailer. So, the lights are all there. You get to hook it up. And, uh, yeah. If you have an MFC, MFU unit in your rig, or just the, the basic light kit, you will get light functionality through there, which is pretty sweet. And, of course, if you want to put the motorized legs on the thing, you can do that as well. This one doesn't come with that. Um... And other than that, I got this at uh, the Zoom Room in Newmarket. They had a sale on this. This happened to be the last one. It was a great price. I got it for $3.99, so 400 bucks. And the going rate for this particular trailer is like somewhere north of $600. We're talking Canadian dollars because I'm Canadian, A. Eh? <laughs> ah. So anyways, um, this, is, this was a, a nice little purchase. And uh, this will give me something to pull. So I'm very excited, although I want more rigs so I can pull more things. Um, but this, I've seen this in, I saw this in person before I decided to buy this. It looks amazing, so I can't wait to get this out of the box. The only thing is, I'll put you guys down, I have no clue um, how it's packaged. <laughs> so we're going to find out how this thing is packaged. And I'm going to have to put the box on the floor. But there really, there's nothing to the box. It's a big, long box. It doesn't have anything on the flip side of it. No, this is the only side with art, so this is what you get to look at. Um, so it appears actually this opens from the top. So I'm going to slice the roof of the box open. Now the one rig I... Oh my goodness, yes. 
I can't see any chrome yet. It's all uh, packaged up here. I'll get you, get you in a second. But anyways, um, well, this is going to be interesting. What was I going to say? Oh, no, I've forgotten. <laughs> Ooh, I can see some chrome. Mm, that looks good. Anyways, um, I, I don't know how to get this out. And I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, the one rig I sold to my good buddy it was the only rig I had with an MFC. Uh, MFU, MFC, the noisemaker unit. It gives you the sounds and full functionality of lights and stuff. And Yeah, I sold him that, so he's very happy. And now I need another rig with an MFU. Or a multifunction unit. And I have a feeling I'm supposed to lift this all out as one piece. So, you know what? I'll put this thing on the floor and lift it right out. Because this is just, I don't want to break, really break it. I can avoid it. Yeah, it totally lifts out of the box. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Alright, now I've taken a box out of a box. That's good. Reminds me of my grandmother, who loved to give me presents in a box, inside of a box, inside of a box, inside of a box. And then one year I got her back and... Oh man, she laughed for half the day. She thought it was great. Okay. This, actually, this video is probably going to be mostly me just unboxing things like this. Actually, sorry, I mean opening the box itself. Right. Now that I've got that going, it appears they take the manual into the box. On the side of the box. It's neat how they give me an instruction manual, even though it's an RTR thing. I guess so you can refer to it for reference. I mean, that's pretty smart, right? There's some more art. This is um, the manual. I don't want to get into that, but that's the manual. Anyways, this is, this is what it looks like when you first get it out of the box. See, it's, I've taken a box out of a box. But it's okay, it's well packaged. To me, it does not mess around. And look, you can see a little chrome. Look at the shiny. It's very shiny. Ooh, yeah, anyways, I've seen it in person, so it does look amazing. Now, you're going to have to look at this again until I figure out if I can pick this up, pick this up right out of this box. No, I can't because it's zip tied down there. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, more cutting. I need scissors this time. I'm getting... We're getting serious now. This is not even an unboxing. This is more like a project. <laughs> so anyways, if you buy one of these trailers pre-built, this is sort of the stuff you're going to have to go through. And I don't even know if these are zip ties or not, but I'm cutting them. I don't care right now. Just get her going. Okay, so that's one side. Anyways, big rigs are quite fun. Um, they're three-speed transmissions. Uh, I did an unbox of my Grand Hauler and my Mercedes, I believe. I'm pretty sure I did those. Yeah, three-speed transmissions, first, second, and third. And let me tell you, even with uh, even with a 27-turn silver can basic to me a motor or whatever, they boogie in third gear. Let me tell you something. They're quick. <laughs> okay, now I've taken the second box off of the trailer. Now you can. Ooh, you can see some chrome. Here's the trailer cable. Yeah. This, this is what hooks up to the rig. Now, what you do for storage is you just fish the cable. Just fish it right back into the trailer itself. And this is sort of like a rubberized grommet. And when you fish it through, it'll act as the storage for the cable. And then that way, if you want to make sort of like a scaly, loopy, whatever job, you can do that, I guess. For now, I'm just going to shove this all the way in so it sticks out like that, so that's easy peas. Yeah, and they've really packaged this well. <clears throat> this is pretty good. I mean, I haven't even got it fully open yet, and oh, there's the light set that's included. So they, when they pre-built this, they added the light set, which is pretty cool. So if you buy this trailer as the kit, you can buy it and build it yourself. If you do that, I, I believe you don't get these, unless now they're throwing them in, but... I'm pretty sure you do not get those, so that's sort of a bonus. So it was a great deal, to be honest. Um, Alright, so let's continue cracking on here. Maybe a little closer. Now I'm going to cut some more 
I don't know if these are straps or ties, whatever they are. Oh, sorry, girls. <laughs> don't want to hit the girls over there, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to save that, actually. I don't want to rip that. They do package it really well, but look at this. I mean, look at this thing. Lord, 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 Lord. Mm-mm-mm. I guess I should get it fully out of the box so we can fully enjoy its uh, beauty, eh? From what I heard at the hobby shop, the Zoom Room uh, guys there, they give me some information in back in the day. This Gallant Eagle fuel, it wasn't Gallant Eagle, it was Shell. But they lost the licensing during, I don't know when, probably a couple years after they procured it. So no longer says Gallant Eagle, but a couple of us were wondering what else we could put on here. And locally, in, um, well, I say locally, but... I believe uh, Sunoco, it was available f all over for a while, probably all around the world too, I didn't pay much attention, but anyways, it's no longer available, Sunoco, and now the 94 octane we used to get through Sunoco is now through Petro Canada fuel, so I, I instead of like Petro Canada or something Canadian, I'd put Sunoco, but maybe I would put Petro Canada because it says Canada, who knows, but anyways, okay, let me get this out, oh, chitter chatter. Now, will it lift right out? I think so, so let me figure this out because I do not want to break this, just getting it out of the, the box. And it's stuck. Something is tied at the back, I think. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to wreck this. Well, let me take the, take that out. Oh, look at that. Even threw me, uh, even throw you some, uh, ooh, wheel chocks, look. Haha. <laughs> They're kind of like hard plasticky sort of rubbery. That's cool. And there's uh, some other bits in there. I'll figure out what those are for. Now, in the meantime, what is holding this in place? Nothing, I think, actually. Is it? Oh, I gotta tip. This is, this is scary. I'm gonna tip this sideways a bit. I can see what's going on. Yes, there is more crap. I say crap. It's more strappy strap stuff. And I don't know how you're supposed to get at these without doing something like this. But I'm just going to cut them again because ain't nobody got time for this. Or for these darn things. They're twisty ties, actually. They're not zip ties. It's been twist tied in. But I don't have time to untwist those things. Don't forget that. See if I can get it out now. It's in there good, eh? Like they really do package it quite well. Okay, I'm gonna have to go inside again. Um what else can I say about this trailer? It is a dual axle trailer, if you haven't noticed. Um the wheels and rims are the exact same you get in a Tamiya kit. Oh my. This is. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, their wheels, uh, the rims, I should say, are the plastic ones you do get in a kit, and the tires are the same bias uh, scale, bias ply. To me, a tread tire. And the axles are leaf spring. Or the axles are leaf springs. Lord, I can't speak anymore. The uh, rear trailer is on leaf springs. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's see if we can get this out now. Almost, almost. I'll grab it for that frame. It's really in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. It just the twist ties and it was wrapped in such a way that it felt stiffer. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, back it up. Back it up. Now there's a. There we go. The support legs. All right, this box can now get the heck out of the bad shop. I wonder if there's anything in this light box. Ooh. Oh, nice. Okay, so. Um, if you don't have a light kit uh, or whatever or an uh, MFC, MFU. This is the semi-trailer semi hitch 
um, pitch. <laughs> wow, brain is just not cooperating. Okay, uh, this thing, the plug for your lights on the trailer, they give you one in this package, so that's nice. A hard time doing this. I got two more to do tonight that I want to do. And I can't even get this one right. All right, here we go. I've been watching for 15 minutes me getting this thing out of the box. Look at this now. Look at this. Okay, here we go. Enough sitting around. You're probably scrolled up to this point. This is the trailer in all its glory. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick it up sort of by the tongue area here where it would hitch up. And you can see the amount of rear suspension that's going on here. Look at that. Even I'll do a little drag test over my little bad shop garage museum hump here. See that? I don't know if you can see it because my camera may have gone a bit dark, but there's a good amount of uh, suspension there. So that's good. If I, if I sort of lift it by the rear, yeah. Good amount. It's it's similar to the um, the big rigs, the the way it's situated, except there's no drive axle. And actually, this is something I just noticed. Look, my wheel's a bit loose. That one's not loose. So, oh, what happened here? This is a Tamiya pre-build. Something is not uh, quality control there. It's not like this was uh, bouncing around too hard. I'm gonna have to check the other one. So. Always with an RTR, double check things because you never know if one bolt or screw or nut just didn't get twisted. Most of the time, to me, it's pretty good on it, so don't know what happened there. So I'm going to check that. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. This wheel is... The other one over there actually feels loose too, so I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I'm going to read the instruction, but I don't imagine that, that that can't be... No, that can't be right. I'll figure that out. Teething issue, whatever. Check. Always check everything. <laughs> Um, anyways, aside from this, here's what the top looks like. It's very, it's, they've tried to scale it out very nice and it looks good. This is, this is, uh, aluminum. I can feel it. It feels so nice. Chromed. Um, even, uh, this here, you may have noticed the retractable support legs. Um, let me show you. So the idea is you hook up, there's a, there's a riggings under here. Let me see if you can see it. You may be able to see it. There's a rigging here with a turnbuckle and when you hook up your trailer it pushes this mechanism here and you get retractable support legs isn't that cool now the only thing with this is when you go to unlatch the trailer there is no way to put these back down manually so you hitch up and they retract but when you go to leave the trailer and you drive away that's gonna happen <laughs> so when that happens you're going to have to do basically this before you let the trailer go down. I'm going to put the camera down so you can see what's going on. There we go. So what you have to do is pretend my hand is the trailer, or sorry, the tractor. So there we are. We've backed up. We want to let go of this trailer and do something else. You have to come manually with your hand and click them in place so they'll stand. So when you hitch up, again, when you hitch up, you get the uh, you get the retractableness, but when you go to let go of this trailer, unhitch the trailer, you'll have to manually do that. But that's not so bad. But I mean, if you're doing a big demonstration, you'll want to get the motorized support leg. So when you hitch up, they'll do this by a motor, duh, 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 or rr, 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 whatever you prefer. And then when you go to unhook. There'll be a do -do 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 before you unhook. You can you can do it through the the multi-function control, the MFC unit. So, anyways, I'll take you around the back for one last last look at this trailer before my brain absolutely shuts down. It feels like it just doesn't want to do anything anymore except relax. Here's the back of the trailer. It's got a New Jersey license plate on it. That's interesting. I'm going to change that and put a bad shop on it. I think might even be bad shop fuel. Who knows? But anyways, it looks really good. It's well done. Look at the scaleness of the piping here for that. The the uh, the ladder for climbing up. I mean, they've done a really nice job. They've got the uh, sort of rubbery mud flaps, scale mud flaps. It's always a nice touch. There's a shot of the rear uh, the rear suspension. They're basically friction pistons with leafs and um, or leaf springs. 
yeah, the brain just doesn't want to talk. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one, although most of it was un just literally getting the thing out of the box. Um, but this was a good deal, and if you can come across a deal similar to what I did, or what I found uh, for this, or like another, uh, to me, a pre-build trailer, it's worth it for the money if you find a good deal. Uh, and I can't wait to get this thing going. The only bummer part is I don't have a rig capable of running these lights at the moment, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to have to figure that out uh, or get another rig. But anyways, it's a really sweet trailer. It's super chrome. I can see my face in it constantly. And when I did my first uh, rig trailer... Oh, sorry, I have four rigs. This just dawned on me. The other rig's in the race case. So there's those two up there, and then there's a grand hauler sitting in there, which I did the unboxing for. So I can't believe I forgot that. Anyways, when I did a... <laughs> I did a video from the back of my grand hauler hooked up to a friend's trailer, this exact trailer. The camera was somewhere like up here like this and you could see pretty much all the front rig action through this chrome dome and not even that. I could see action far down and beyond the trailer of my friend's rigs and stuff. So that worked out well. So yeah. Now we've been, I've been going here for like 20 something minutes. <laughs> Sorry for wasting so much time with the box, but it's a big box, and I don't blame them now for preserving this beautifulness. So, there it is, the Gallant Eagle uh, fuel tanker trailer for the 114th scale. To me, a semi-rigs, those things. So, if you like this, like, subscribe, comment. I'll try to get back to you, and uh, hopefully get some rig videos posted up, some more posted up soon. Actual uh, driving footage, etc., maybe some...